welcome this is another flip class activity that we have designed where we go where we are going to address how to look at some of the word problems so this is an apply level objective that we are trying to achieve through this flip classroom so let us take a simple example of finding a point on the plane to x minus y plus 4z equal to 3 that is closest to the origin so let us look at the diagram here we have the point x y z which is an arbitrary point on the plane n cap is the normal vector and the normal vector will have directions 2 minus 1 4 and we all know from the 3d geometry that the distance of this particular plane from origin that is the shortest distance the perpendicular distance is given by 3 over square root of 2 square plus minus 1 square plus 4 square that gives you root 3 by 7 so this is the answer that is expected now let us look at the problem statement so we have minimizing the function x square plus y square plus z square which is nothing but the square of the distance function because if if for a particular choice of x y z this is minimum it also implies that x square plus y square plus z square will be minimum so this is for the simplicity we have considered so let us minimize this function subject to the condition that the point lies on the plane now we all know that at the critical points the gradient vectors are parallel so let us see the grad of f as lambda times grad of g so let us write down grad of f that is 2x comma 2y comma 2z which is lambda times gradient of g that is 2 minus 1 and 4 so now this will give us the three equations that we can have when you compare the components so equation 1 2 3 and we have how many variables now we have four variables x y z and lambda and only three equations so the fourth equation comes as the constraint condition and that is the fourth equation now using these four equations we have to solve for x y z and lambda so now look at the first three equations from there you can easily calculate x y z in terms of lambda now using these values of x y z in terms of lambda we can substitute in the fourth relation to give us the value of lambda as 2 by 7 therefore now we can determine explicitly the values of x y and z as lambda which is nothing but 2 by 7 for x y as minus lambda by 2 that gives you minus 1 by 7 and z as 4 by 7 thus we have point found the point p of the type 2 by 7 minus 1 by 7 and 4 by 7 and we have found a single solution so this is the only point where the minimum occurs and we let us check the distance of the point from origin it turns out to be root of 21 by 7 that is again 3 by root of 3 by 7 in other words we have solved the problem and now let me just comment on this lambda you notice we have not used the value of lambda as itself because it's a value 2 by 3 is just a value which has no special interest in this particular example however in physical applications lambda may have signif physical significances for example if we have to study the dynamics of the motion of a bead which is sliding around or along a curved wire then lambda may be the perpendicular force between the bead and the wire 